Hey everybody, welcome to Doc Sports Marquee Matchup. I'm Tony George, he's Scott Spritzer, couple Nebraska Hi. boys, and a team close to home. We're talking about the Chiefs and the Ravens this week, but first we want you to be sure and get over right there to DocSports.com. Claim that free $60 if you're a new member. We'll park that in your account and we'll guarantee those plays that you use to purchase with that $60 with our pure profit guarantee. DocSports.com since 1971. There's no other place you need to be this Sunday in the NFL. I gotta tell you something, real quick story. Do you know in the 19, late 1970s, don't wanna date us too much here, uh, but I was like nine, 10 years old and I'd go with my dad in South Omaha into a little tobacco shop and every year as we got closer to football season, there were two magazines I would buy, Street and Smith's, and remember that had all the predictions and the oh, yeah. potential betting lines in the back of the book oh, okay. for the whole season for every college football team. And then the other one was the Doc Sports betting guide. And I remember the little football player with the little Doc Medic, you know, the whole logo and all that kind of stuff. That was when I was 10. That was about 15 years ago, and here I am working for him. Here we are. Um, um, unbelievable. <laughs> First guest I ever had on my radio show that had any stick at all, Maury Mosman. Now I'm working for his kid. Wait, <laughs> what would you know? Hey, look, growing up in, in Omaha and in Lincoln, Nebraska, team close to us, the Kansas City Chiefs, sure. making a lot of uh, headlines here this year. Patrick Mahomes, MVP. This game here, though, a real tough test at Arrowhead, in my opinion, for the Chiefs. Uh, currently six and a half, total is 55. 27-24 overtime game last year. The exact same number, I might add, Kansas City was laying six and a half last year in this very game in Arrowhead, Scott. And here they are. The So far, at least, Scott, the Lamar Jackson experiment has worked out marvelously for the Ravens. How's it, and so you got him, marquee matchup against Patrick Mahomes, two marquee teams. What are your thoughts? Well, Mahomes is the real deal, no doubt about it. We're not sure yet on Lamar Jackson, and he's playing much better football. He's very accurate with his passes which he wasn't last year when he got kind of thrown into the mix. They've worked with him a lot, give John Harbaugh. Harbaugh John Harbaugh is the brain of the Harbaugh family, no oh, doubt about yeah. it. Not to take too much away from Jim, uh, but he worked with Lamar Jackson, and he's got him throwing the football better. But there's two things that concern me with Baltimore so far. We're going to find out, maybe not even this week, because then I'll get to that, Casey's defense being what it is. But Lamar Jackson has faced the Arizona Cardinals and the Miami Dolphins, that's one thing. The other thing yeah. is against the Arizona Cardinals, he kind of reverted back to last year's Lamar Jackson. He ran the football 16 times. And I know he was, you know, decent with the football through the year, like 24 for 37. He, he kept the ball away from the opponent. He didn't get picked off. But again, you cannot run the football 16 times and last in the NFL. And I went back and I looked at it. And out of those 16 times, about eight, he shouldn't have been running. Maybe right. eight times run, eight times he took off too quickly. Here's the thing I said about the KC defense. They still stink. They got rid of D Ford. They got rid of Houston. That's over 40% of their oh, sacks boy. from last year. They've been gashed on the ground in two games. It, Josh Jacobs had a huge game run on the football against them last week for Oakland. This Baltimore team will try to take advantage of KC's weakness. They'll be extremely well coached. They're going to try to hit them between the chops, right between the tackles when it comes to running the football. And if Lamar does run the ball a dozen times or so, Tony, He's probably going to gain some yardage in this one. I think this is going to be a great game potentially to bet on, but also to learn moving forward for the rest of the season. Casey's defense and also Lamar Jackson, we're going to learn a whole lot. Well, the one thing that concerns me about Kansas City when I look at their offensive stats, and we all know Mahomes and Kelsey and Watkins is having a big year. Sure. The absence of Tyreek Hill, which when he comes back, who knows what's going right. to happen with this team. They're going to explode. But their offensive balance concerns me because Harbaugh knows how to attack a team right. at their strengths. Kansas City throwing the ball. 405 yards a game, and only running it for 72 a game. 1.4 yards per carry last week was that, what they ran for. That is scaring me here, and I'll tell you what, I don't know. I think 55 in this game might be a little bit high. I'm with you. It's come down a little bit. It came down from 55 and a half yeah. on Monday, and I yeah. happen to agree with that move. So if right. I do have a free play on this game, it would be on the under between Baltimore and KC. I wanted to give them that 9-0 stat. If you happen to watch the 10-10, and 10, and I mentioned there's a 9-0 trend, KC, they get off to a great start in the month of September under Andy Reid. They're on a 9-0 and spread run in the month of September. They're quick out of the gates, and they've already jumped out of the gates fast this year. What's that say? 
It says, well, obviously. What's that say? It says not enough. You stole my obviously, thunder. Obviously, you still got the camera above it. my desk in the office. Ravens 4-0 <laughs> against the spread the last four road games, and they also swept uh, 4-0 straight up and uh, ATS in the preseason. Harbaugh's the best preseason coach in the history of the world. Uh, road team in this series 6-2 against the spread. And uh, does it concern you at all, which kind of bolsters the under 55 lean we both seem to have sure. here? Kansas City didn't score in the second half last week against Oakland. They only scored one quarter. Was that amazing? 28 points, 270-some-odd yards passing by Mahomes in the second quarter alone after spotting the Raiders 10 points in a 10-0 lead. Neither team scored in the second half. And, uh, again, I'm with you. I think that's our free pick right on this yeah, play. We're going to go with under 55 between Baltimore and KC. And don't forget about that uh, $60 free account, Tony. Tell them all yeah, about it. We opened it up. We'll close with it. Get a free 60 bucks. Come over. Scott's going to have a nice card today. I'm going to have a nice card this weekend. Be sure to go to the docs. Click the link in the description below. Claim that $60 for yourself. Thanks for tuning in to the Marquee Matchup here.